This video is on some of the main stitches used in Hardanger embroidery. Hardanger tends to use several stitches over and over again with slight variations. This can have a dramatic effect. There's only about five stitches used in this piece on the board right here. Again, this piece is showing several stitches used over and over again. Another thing about Hardanger stitches is that the front of the work looks a great deal like the back of the work, as shown in this Christmas ornament. The building blocks of Hardanger are called cluster blocks. You can see them here in the horizontal way and used in a diagonal way. Here the cluster blocks have a slight variation with the points or with a longer form to create a more open area. Here's a picture of the cluster blocks. It's a basic satin stitch of five stitches put over four threads. Then any unnecessary thread work is pulled away. Sometimes the inside threads are left fairly bare, but usually they are woven like this or wrapped like this one. One of the earlier examples had a double wrap where only two threads were wrapped, creating parallel bars. Here the loops are in a diagonal pattern. Here they're more vertical horizontal. As you can see by switching between the wraps and the bars, the styles of the loops, and how many loops you do in the different holes create, can create a slightly different effect. Here's another option called a pico edge. Once you've done the main stitch work, you can finish it off like this, which is a herring stitch, or the Christmas ornament you saw earlier, which is a buttonhole stitch. If you plan on just framing it, you don't need any finishing stitches at all. You can add charms, beadworks, eyelets, and other things to your pattern. If you'd like to see more on this, please go to hardanger-embroidery.com. Thank you.